G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into costuming, you'll find DIY videos into furniture, and you'll find analysis into historical events, who are the main characters and why do things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, you might want to consider subscribing. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Medieval Fight Club Paladin helmet. This is a, a very, very good helmet. This is um, a very much a historical design. You can see these in a whole range of typographies, uh, in a whole range of iconographies and descriptions throughout the, uh, the later 11th century right through, particularly made famous by the Crusaders in uh, the Second Crusade and beyond. Really good for Australian use. It doesn't have the back of the helmet, so it allows the head to ventilate a lot better. Uh, and prevents people from getting quite as affected by heat. The inner circumference is 68 centimetres and the outer circumference is 75 centimetres. Uh, left to right is advertised at 200 millimetres, front to back is 22 centimetres. Um, the eye slits are 17 by 75. All right, that's very historically accurate. Um, I really like this. It, it gives you a lot of protection. Um, the face guard, I believe, is um, 12 gauge and the rest of the helmet is 14 gauge. Again, extremely realistic. This is a good solid helmet for medieval combat and fight training. Uh, I really like it. Um, inside you have um, an extra layer of padding, you have a leather suspension system, you have a very realistic and very really good construction um, leather strap. Uh, it does come coated with a, a, like an oily sort of greasy film, you're going to want to remove that. Very easy to maintain, obviously made from a modern steel, but um, and, and not so much a, a medieval type of steel. But this is really good and I really do like it. Um, it's, it's very easy to work in, very easy to fight in. Um, and, and as I say, for Australian use and for hot weather use, for my friends who are in um, uh, America and Canada uh, and parts of Europe, this is a really fantastic piece of kit. Uh, it is more expensive and that obviously reflects the quality of manufacturing and also the quality of materials. At $229 though, I think that's a very realistic price for such a great piece of kit. And it's, it's certainly uh, far more economical than a lot of the pieces of kit that you can find online. Uh, and I think this is great purchasing through um, you know, a local company. I'm very much a, a proud and passionate supporter of Australia. Alrighty. So, um, I'm giving this a really good 10 out of 10. I really like this. Uh, I find it's a very useful piece of kit. I train in it. Um, my son trains in it and uh, it's, it's very protective. It does give you the situational awareness though. Um, your hearing is not as obstructed and your eyesight is not as obstructed. Um, and you do have the room to wear a proper padded arming cap and chainmail coif underneath. Um, so I really like that. Um, I really think this is a good piece of kit to wear. Uh, and as I say, very protective and very useful. So as I say, um, 10 out of 10, fantastic, thoroughly recommend it. Alrighty guys, please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.